Hey, you hear the boss man got a new laser? Let's play with it. Yeah, let's go check it out. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, look at that thing. I know. Do you know where your welders are? You want to make sure they're supervised at all times, especially when a new laser is in the shop. We need to learn everything there is to know about laser safety. I'm Buzz Baldwin, and I'm here to talk about laser safety today, kids. There's a lot of power behind these IPG lasers, and lasers are way different than welders. So today, this lesson is going to be all about what do you need to consider when you get one of these fancy laser welders. Oh boy. I'm so excited. You're a responsible business owner. You got yourself a nice fancy light weld XC laser welder. You're ready to just start burning down some metal. But before you can get to know this machine and shooting lasers all different directions, we have a big shop here at the weld.com lab. And while there's not always a bunch of people walking around, we do have that issue. So we want to isolate our laser and put them behind these Kintec EverGuard laser barriers. These things are infrared proof. There's nothing leaking out any direction any way we go to shoot this laser even though it's got a bunch of safety features to not do so but we even have extra safety features inside these barriers that even when the door opens this thing goes and heads and shuts off if it's being used so that nobody has any types of accidental accidents that accidentally happen when we are laser welding come on inside our infrared safe laser barriers we've got our welding machine set up inside we've got the fail safe right here so if anyone opens this door we'll keep it shut for now we can stay welded. All right. Are you ready to weld? Yeah. Not yet we don't, Hollywood. We gotta get these glasses off. These are your laser safety glasses to keep that near infrared out of your eyes. And this right here, cowboy, ain't gonna cut it either. Welding hoods aren't laser welding helmets. So we've gotta use the right PPE for the job. Keep your double eye protection on when you're welding, right? You wanna have the glasses and the hood on at all times. Now I've got my safety glasses and I'm not welding. Am I safe? Maybe not. We got to be at least three meters back before that infrared light diffuses and I'm safe enough. We're in a closed environment, so it's probably a good idea for everyone to have double eye protection. Got to keep those eyes safe. You only got two of them, you hear me? You want to see your baby get born? You want to see their first baseball game? I do. You got to wear your double eye protection at all times. Our door is closed. If this thing even has so much as a crack, we can have this laser beam shoot right out of here up to 200 meters, could put someone's retinas right out. But don't worry, this machine even has some safe faults. So even if this door was open and this error code was bypassed, it still has more stuff on the business end to keep us nice and safe. Go ahead and try to pull that trigger and get going. It doesn't no work. work. See the screen light on the top? This goes hand in hand with our double trigger system here. So if we hit that bottom trigger, you'll notice that gas turns on for us and then we hit this top trigger and that's supposed to give us our laser action. But we can't do that without this here, interlock system. This is almost like a ground, it's kind of look like in a welder way as the ground. We've got to have that on our material or on our workpiece. Now that when we hit that first trigger, you can see that this is now blinking, telling us that we're ready to send it and do our laser business. Even if we're welding and that door opens, this will cut off even if this interlock is on. So we have double triggers, interlocking system on the door everywhere so that we don't send a laser 200 meters outside that door burning someone's corneas right off. Let's prep some iron. Not with that thing, man. We got freaking laser beams. It's really important to get to know the safety features of these laser welders as they have a ton of practical applications when it comes to cleaning and welding all different types of metals. Holy cow, that was awesome! Now that you got that figured out, we'll show you how easy it is to switch it over to weld and weld with it. Now this really is an easy process to understand and set. Mac has about zero experience when it comes to laser welding and only about 5% when it comes to actual welding itself. So getting her lined out with this laser machine as quickly as we did adds another benefit to the process. Easy on the travel speed, a little fast, there you go. There you go, you're natural. See if there's penetration. Well, on behalf of Kentec Safety and IPG, this is all about laser. Do you like laser welding today? Golly gee, Buzz, this was a great time. If you want to see more about laser welding, check out this video right here. We'll see you guys on the next one.